Hyundai Kona Electric has been launched in India with prices starting at 25 lakh 30 thousand rupees. This is the first ever electric SUV to be launched in India and it's similar to the Hyundai Creta in terms of size and space but has a design which is not overly futuristic yet sharp enough to distinguish itself on the road. The front end gets slim LED daytime running lamps and low mounted headlamps along with single piece body coloured bumper rising up till the bonnet. Hyundai's signature cascading grille pattern is embedded on the front bumper giving it a modern contemporary design. The Kona Electric in India gets a 39.2 kilowatt hour battery which is good enough for 131 brake horsepower and 395 newton meters of peak torque. It can do a 0 to 100 km per hour sprint in just 9.7 seconds, while the ARAI certified range is set to be 452 km on a single charge. It takes 6 hours 10 minutes to charge up to 80% using a normal outlet, while the DC fast charger helps it get to that number in just 57 minutes. The company has tied up with Indian oil company to offer fast chargers at petrol pumps in select cities. Uh, Kona Electric is also sold in global market over 45,000 vehicles in the world, so one of the, our best sellers in electric vehicle market. So we introduced Kona Electric vehicle because uh, it has a wonderful efficiency with a long range. So our model for realized electric vehicle is a more driving range with less battery. So we achieved 89% of uh, total system efficiency on Kona Electric. That's why we introduced uh, the Kona Electric India, first step. The cabin of the Kona Electric 2 is not futuristic and gets a simple, clean design. There are three driving modes on offer, Eco, Comfort and Sport. The Kona Electric will get features such as a floating 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system with smartphone connectivity, wireless charging, ventilated seats, heads-up display and ABS along with EBD as well. Ducati India has launched the off-road ready version of its adventure touring motorcycle, the Multistrada 1260 Enduro. It's available in two colors and while the Ducati Red is priced at 19,99,000 rupees, the Sand costs 20,23,000 rupees. In India, the Ducati Multistrada 1260 Enduro will compete against the likes of the BMW R1250 GS and the Triumph Tiger 1200 XCX. The 1260 Enduro is powered by the 1262cc Testa Stretta DVT engine and updated electronics. The engine puts out 156 brake horsepower and 127 Nm of torque. The off-road bike comes with ride-by-wire and four riding modes – Sport, Touring, Urban and Enduro. All the electronics and other connectivity features can be easily accessed via a 5-inch full-color TFT display and the Ducati Multimedia System. One of the most powerful production cars to come from Italian automaker Maserati, the Levante Trofeo SUV has been confirmed for India. The Maserati Levante Trofeo will be launched in India towards the end of this year. Compared to the standard Levante that is already on sale in the country, the Trofeo packs in 590 brake horsepower and a whopping 730 Nm of peak torque from its 3.8-litre twin-turbo V8 motor. The SUV can sprint from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 3.9 seconds and has a top speed of 300 km per hour, bringing it close to the likes of the Bentley Bentega Speed and the Lamborghini Urus. The Maserati Levante Trofeo gets a sharper looking front with the revised grille, full LED headlamps and a functional bonnet vents. The car comes with carbon fibre inserts at the rear and side skirts further add to the aggressive appeal. It's filled to the gills with features 
and it gets red, black and tan leather upholstered seats. While the Trofeo badging is a reminder as to why this model is special. The carbon fiber treatment has been extended to the cabin as well with a number of inserts including the paddle shifters for the ZF Source 8 speed automatic transmission. We've had 15 years of sheer leadership bringing you the very best of the world of wheels. If you like the best, subscribe to our channel.